Hey y'all, I'm Maddie Ratkovec and I'm a sophomore at Waverly High School. This is our cheer! And this is my poem, Stinging. Maybe we were only meant to be star-crossed lovers. A kind of Romeo and Juliet, I guess. But now that we're apart, I can only hope he's missing me as much as I miss him. I imagine he'd be sitting alone in his room, fingers lying wrapped around the thin silver chain, the last gift I gave him. The detailed cross glistening in the palm of his hand with its symmetrical curves and silver rhinestone. It would burn into his skin with the ache of it with the ache of my absence, sitting on the edge of his bed, mind racing in circles, trying to understand what's going on, what's going on in his head, unknowing that I was having the same problems, the unexplained mood swings and the tears falling in silence. His voice starts getting louder and louder in my subconscious, his smooth, tempting voice, the voice I'd always loved. The only voice that listened when I needed to talk and the only voice I listened to when I needed guidance. guidance. His voice reminded me of the crackling of a campfire in the summertime, warm and rough. But I can still see him pushing me away with those tears falling off his cheeks. His goofy smile appears when I close my eyes and it lights a fire inside me and his lips curving upward just for me, just like when I gave him his last gift. The chain with the cross and the rhinestone in the middle, which is probably fake, but he wouldn't care, because it reminded him of us. I crave the electricity that comes with the feeling of him, the feeling of his fingers in my hair and of his lips connecting with mine, the simple feeling of being in his presence. My God, but his eyes, it was like a bird's eye view of a bare island in the middle of the ocean, gold surrounded by blue green and the most beautiful eyes I had ever seen. But now, when I look into those eyes, all I can see is the pain and the stinging of what we both know could have been but are now too scared to try. We tried for six months before I lost him. I lost my Romeo, but in my perfect world, we wouldn't give up when someone said we couldn't be together. We would fight for ourselves. We would fight for each other. <laughs>